16,348 kilometres for a pasta salad in a new Plymouth buffet. It's the Russian rugby team's pre-match meal, and after a week in New Zealand, they're still getting used to things. The population of my apartment block is bigger than New Plymouth, to be honest. Sure, these guys mightn't be household names just yet, but that's why they're here, to get to know the locals and get the locals to know them. Hopefully they'll, uh, they'll come out to cheer for us with some Russian flags when we play the, uh, the USA in September. Yeah, that's why we've come to feel what, f f get a feel for the place. And while some of the surnames are a bit complicated... Number 12, Alexander Yanyushkin. The first names actually aren't too hard to pick up. My name is Alex. My name is Alex. Hi, my name is Alex. My name is Alex. My name is not Alex. <laughs> Eight Alexes, 30 players in total, playing an invitational 15 in rural Taranaki. To Russia! It's not often people wear beanies in January. Shai bu! Shai bu! But it's not often they host international matches in the Tikarangi domain. Let's be honest, it's not that often they play rugby here at this time of year. It's in the mid-twenties. The ground is less than forgiving, to say the least. And keep in mind, a third of these Russian players have come from Siberia, where it gets down to minus 30 at this time of year. These guys are tough, though. Suckers for summer punishment. <laughs> Moscow, Tikorangi, next stop, Timaru. Jack Tame, One News.